Um, I have a whole tutorial on tables. You can also format your tables and do different things. I can select the table right there. Click on the design contextual tab, table tools. A new, di a new part of the ribbon appears whenever you have a table. Click on design. I can change the design of my table. See, I'm just scrolling over the different designs. I can add a total row. I could um, do different things with the columns as far as boarding them, just different options. So if I add a total row, that adds a row to the bottom of my table here. Whenever I do that, then I have different formulas available. Just with my mouse, I don't even have to enter them in. I can automatically find the average sales of quarter four. I could come in here and I could find, you can see S, the standard deviation if I wanted to of my sales. I could find the max that would tell me the most, what sales rep sold the highest. Again, the average, the sum, or I can click here, more functions, and I can, and that brings me to that insert function dialog box that we went over, and I can search for functions by category for a statistical, and that'll list all of my statistical functions. That you're going to have to go into another tutorial before we get into that. Here again, I'm just introducing the tables to you. Um, <clears throat> all right, so uh, I'm going to go over charts. Let me just go ahead and I'll make sure that my total is all the sum. Okay, so we have the sum. Now we're going to make a chart. To make a chart, I could just I could make uh, different types of charts. I can just first thing I'm going to do is well, actually, with Excel 2013, they recommend um, you can even have recommended charts. But let's go to Insert tab, click on Recommended Charts, and it will recommend different charts. That's the easiest way. You can see here, um, I'm selecting a chart, and there it has each quarter, and then a bar for. Um, it has each employee and then a bar for each quarter. Um, let me undo that chart. Another way to in insert charts is I could um, just do it by quarter, select quarter, press control, and select my, select my totals. So you can see again, I selected the quarters. Now I'm holding down the control button and I'm selecting my totals. Insert. I could, and right here I'm selecting like an insert, um, a column chart, 3D, and there, that's just showing my totals. It's not really distinguishing the employee, but just showing the totals for each quarter. And I'm just holding it over, it's not actually inserting, it's just giving me a preview. And you just find the chart that's best for you. Um, let's fairly simple um, you can do you know just again I'm you know what that's what's good about Excel 2013 it even has recommended charts but it's just how you're gonna want to select your data you can select um, you know the different axis of where your charts gonna be I selected my employees and then I selected you know my um, or select employees and then I can select all the quarters and go over different charts that I want to enter. Just remember your charts going to have, um, and then also, I mean, you have, you can have pie charts as well when you select your content. You can insert however you want your chart to be. It's something you're going to have to go around and play with, and I have tutorials on that too. We're going to have to know how, how to basically use charts in Excel. Okay, uh, finally, let me, I'll go ahead and insert a chart. I'm going to hit, I'm going to select my table, click recommended charts. We're just going to select the, select the most simple chart. <clears throat> Again, you can format your charts. It's going to be in another tutorial. Just play around with it, and you will know how. All right, uh, we can resize our charts by selecting the handles on the corner, resizing them. And then we're gonna wanna we're gonna wanna save our file. So we can get a file and we will go to save as 
And what's new about Excel 2013 is that you can save it to your SkyDrive or you can save it to your computer. If you're going to save it to your SkyDrive, you're going to have to have an account with um, Microsoft. And that way you can access your files anywhere from any computer. So you just save it under Documents and Excel Tutorial. If you want this to be able to be open in older versions of Excel, you can save it, say really old versions. You can save it as a 97 to 2003 workbook. If not, if you're not worried about people using versions older than 2000, 2003, just select Excel workbook and click save. And it will save it to your SkyDrive. If you want to save it to your computer, go to File, Save As to computer and then over here you're going to have your recent folders or you can browse folders and select documents in whichever folder you want to save it in I'm going to and then click save um, and then finally if you want to print it the first thing you need to do you have you can see we have our worksheet here go to page layout or I'm sorry go to view and click on page layout and the workbook views group okay and then you can kinda of see how it's gonna come out and obviously there's a problem here our chart will not print out so we can resize we can move our chart to where it will be printed out um, and we can stretch it and what you see here is how it's going to be printed out. You can add headers just by clicking in here and adding a header. So, tutorial. And then you can make changes to that header just as we do in the cells. The sizes. Right there. That's um, our font size and our font type. And you can you can work in here just as we were in the other um, the normal view. You can work in these cells. You can insert data just as we were. Okay, go to File, Print, and then over here you can see we have um, kind of a print preview. We can click on this button. We can work with our margins. And you can just manually move your margins over and center things, but you can see it's going to cut our chart off. But you can work with these with the centering your workbook. These are basically selecting the cells and moving them over. But you know, you can see that our we can make those changes. And these are all things that you're just going to have to play with on your own. That's really the best way to learn it. Um, you know you can select here what kind of paper you're going to print it on. This really just depends on what you have in your printer. If it's going to be on an envelope it's going to resize this to automatically fit. Um, how you want it to be printed. And I have a tutorial all in printing. Go to excelfornoobs.com and click on the save and print tab. And, on my website and you can learn all about printing and formatting for your printing um, your settings okay you select your printer and hit. you can select the number of copies you want and click print and if everything's hooked up correctly this should print out I don't have my printer turned on but I don't want to print this anyway because I don't want to waste ink all right, those are the 10 most basic things you need to know in Excel. I've covered them very briefly. Um, if you want to get into these 10 most basic things that you need to know for Excel, be sure to check out my website at excelfornews.com um, and go through every tutorial. It goes into good detail. I'm explaining everything. And um, as simple as some of it may be, it's really very good to know um, all the little nooks and crannies that Excel has to offer um, and all the little features that you as, as 
much as I've been using Excel when I started writing these and learning, I found.